Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 4th of September and I have some rather interesting news for you today as Samsung have revealed a VR headset which is the Gear VR headset which is a new device that will use the Galaxy Note 4 as a virtual reality display and augmented head tracking system. Now, this product was actually developed in collaboration with Oculus, of course, the guys behind the Oculus Rift, the ones who set this great thing in motion known as VR. Now, we'll actually be releasing this autumn in an innovator edition for developers and, quote, VR enthusiasts. Um, the Gear VR was actually a product of 12 months work between Oculus and some uh, Samsung. So... Pretty much two big companies, two companies who know what they're doing very much so, working together to create what could be an interesting device. Now the Oculus CTO John Carmack did note in the announcement that the less powerful hardware and positional tracking features of a mobile phone compared to a desktop setup means that the VR experience has some trade-offs compared to the current Rift developer kits. And John said, quote, As at its very core, virtual reality is about being freed from the limitations of actual reality. Carrying your virtual reality with you and being able to jump into it whenever and wherever you want qualitatively changes the experience for the better. Experiencing mobile VR is like when you first tried a decent desktop VR experience as a sense you're glimpsing something from the future. This is science fiction made real and it's only just the beginning. Now, the, the Gear VR headset will launch with four beta applications from Oculus, including Oculus Home, Oculus Cinema, Oculus 360 Videos, and Oculus 360 Photos, and will, of course, also be including other VR-enabled applications from a few partners of Samsung. Now, it does have some interesting applications, I think. The fact that the display is removable and then, of course, is just a normal Note 4 again is pretty interesting. Although, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking the same thing. They do you really want VR to be mobile? Are you really going to be using it out and about? I mean, I suppose you could argue that you might want to take it around your friend's house and show him the new VR headset that you've got, play some VR games or whatever, or maybe just so he can try it, maybe... He he doesn't have a good enough PC for the Oculus Rift, or he's not a PC gamer at all, he just has his laptop for checking his emails or whatever. So yeah, that, that kind of thing I could see. That That's more convenient than taking your Oculus, or having him come around yours, or well, whatever, you, you get what I'm saying. That that kind of thing where you just take it around your friend's house, play some VR games or whatever, that could be, that could be cool. But no one's going to play a VR game on the bus, just for instance. I don't see that becoming a thing. Perhaps I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. I think the mobile aspect, maybe not so much, but the rest of it sounds pretty interesting. And more competition in the VR space is definitely a good thing at the moment. We really only have two main contenders. We have, of course, the Oculus and Project Morpheus. Now, we have had a couple of other headsets announced, or at least rumoured, but I haven't heard anything from any of them since they announced um, so still for the moment two main contenders which is not really um, a good thing more competition means more innovation at the end of the day anyway that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time